Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Bart doesn't know what we're getting ready to test. I don't. I was like, what are we drinking? And you're like, go, oh, here we go, here we're, we go. We're going to Ireland and Scotland Woo-hoo! and we're going to... Test it! International style. That's right, international style. <laughs> All right, so anyway, this was, I, I'm surprising Bart because we are leaving. This was going to air on May 11th. On May 12th, we are going to Scotland. Yes, we are. He's reaching and for something. It's got to be Irish. No, oh. Compass Box, Tobias and the Angel. What? Holy moly. We're going to pop it open and see. Wow. Isn't this the brand new one you just yep. got? Yep, 2,600 bottles of it out there. Uh, has not been opened. Now, here's, Ooh. okay, I'm going to lay some expectations down. Okay, lay it. So, Okay, uh, Compass Box, John Glazer, actually had to pay rights to a museum who owns this painting of okay. Tobias and the Angel. Okay. So I think some of the price in this bottle is going, toward is going towards just, just getting the rights to use Tobias and the Angel on this bottle. Okay. They've also departed from the standard Compass Box bottling. They have. Um, this is a, uh, a much different... Yeah. It's like its own whiskey hat. Now, it did come in a nice display box as well. It's got a little uh, tie that goes around it. And wow. you open up the box, and on the inside is a nice painting, of, or the, the painting is what? continued of Tobias and the Angel. Holy moly. Yeah. So Isn't if you have enough... Got, look at this. If you have enough room on your shelf, you can display it behind you. <clears throat> This is only two whiskeys. Ooh, Klein Leach Distillery. Both are are in their twenties. Okay. Um, a Kalila, and All a right. Klein Leach Barora. Wow. You told me that. Yeah. And I was like, interesting. Now I'll tell you. So this bottle is running in the five hundred dollar range. That's a lot of money for a bottle. Do I expect it to be five hundred dollars good? No, I don't. I know. I'm assuming I paid a little bit more for for Tobias and the Angel. I think most whiskeys cap out about the three hundred dollar range. I mean, after that, you're for you, yeah, you're talking palate wise. I mean, no, I haven't had a five thousand dollar. If we were multi millionaires, you would buy a case of uh, one of the Macallans, probably. Uh, exceptional series. Balvany 50 year. Oh, yeah, the exceptional series, McAllen's. So here we go. We're okay. cracking this baby. Gotcha. Now, now, what we might do is we might pour this and actually turn the camera off and let it sit for a little bit I just to give it a proper. I think that's a air. good idea. Okay. I'm stunned that you're opening this, actually. I it's know actually you're... got a nice, different wood, big wood cork with the compass box here. I'll show you. Yeah. Wow. Now, you like to save that wax cap, too, don't you? No. Oh, no. Okay. I know well, if it sticks can... on there. Right. But with that being the way it is. Okay. Right. Uh, this is bottled at... I'm stunned. I'm a little speechless. Well, and that's what whiskey is for, is for... Sharing. Sharing in special occasions. 47.6%. It looks like it's actually pretty pale on there. So, I thought in honor of our first trip to Scotland... Ireland, why not uh, do a special bottle? Now, Plus, sure I want to know what this tastes like. Let me let this get some air. Yeah, we're going to actually, we'll turn the camera off, and uh, for you, it'll be like this. For us, it's going to be a little bit a little bit of pain. All right, we can only wait eight minutes, <laughs> not Around, 15. roughly. Yeah, we, we think it's it's like eight and ten seconds. We were... Uh, talking and Bart was looking the I read, labeling and I everything read about over. Tobias. I read about a young Leonardo but, and the the work they think he did on the dog and the fish. So most of you that are or probably everybody that's watching knows this is the Compass Box bottling. We referenced how this is a different yes. shape, and it's I think as far as I know, this is the first bottling from Compass Box that's been in a different shape rather. Uh, and these are all compass boxes back here, so you can see they're all the same shape, same bottle. I used to call myself a compass box fanboy, no longer. Yeah. However, now, not that I'm not a fanboy, I'm just saying I've been eclipsed. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, we did mention, so this is uh, Klein Leash. Uh, it's, for, it's component whiskeys are sourced from Klein Leash Distillery Barora, aged in hogsheads. That's 50.9% of this whiskey. Uh, and then the other is Kalila Distillery Porta Skeg, aged in hogsheads, 49.1, making up the other 49.1%. So, at about eight minutes, I just drifted it up toward my nasal region. And the, the perfume that mm. came out was so rich, yet sweet. It has an awesome, it has an awesome nose. nose. It really, really does. I mean, I'm not even all the way in there. It is rich. It is sweet. There is, now I'm not getting, I haven't, you, I think you said you got the peat. I get more like an unpeated, yeah, salty. The, I, yes, I get the salty. I nose. get the vanilla. Yeah, vanilla and a lot. There's man, there's so much fruit in yeah. here. But I am getting it's the peat sweet. in there. You're right. It's a salty peat. But it's so interesting because right as the first thing is the peat kind of hits me first, and then and then before you can say uh, Shazam, trickety two, yeah, yeah. whatever. I'm trying sure. to think of something. Shazam. Yeah. I don't know. That doesn't sound that right. What would mind. the angels say? That's what we need, though, for the screensaver. <laughs> Only one angel. Or not screensaver. Right. Uh, yeah, the, thumbnail. Uh, the thumbnail. I knew what you were. I knew what you were. Uh, the nose exceeds, ex exceeded expectations. Yeah. Definitely. So, you're right. Um, you can get past... So I get the peat, the salt, then I get the vanilla, and then those fruits, those dark fruits. Mm. I get them fruit. I don't even say dark. Man, just fruit. That's, no, to me, it's more like pear. It's just a, a heavy pear, really? a heavy tangerine, uh, apple, orange. Uh, by the way, there's uh, it is labeled up here as well. This is bottle number 160 of 2,634. Wow. Hold on. Uh, I feel like three, I'm getting a little cherry. 325, by the way. 326. I feel like I'm getting a little cherry. Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, but then, I wouldn't say cherry, but... I feel I mean, like I've got a touch. Now, you're going to slap me. A lot of fruit. And now I feel like i got a little touch of Play-Doh. You know how when you first pop that Play-Doh off the top? No, it's not the first thing. I told yeah. you what I get first. Hmm. All right. Maybe that's weird. You're going in mm. first on the flavor. Really? Mm. I want the same shirt, no hat. That is a beautiful combination. There is so much sweet. There is so much fruit. Spice. There is peat on the tail end. Just slight. It just drifts in. And takes over. That is different from anything I've ever had. I got like a clove spice. There's a lot of spice. And I get the peat here on the wow. finish. A uh, little bit of uh, malted barley. Boy, that's going to take a couple dives. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Wow. The Klein Leash, if you know the Klein Leash profile, picture that at, at 20 some years that it is that's in here. Now you can email Compass Box. I haven't. They will give you the ages of the whiskeys. I know they're both in their 20s, the Kalila and the Klein Leash. But think of an exaggerated Klein Leash profile with that peat. Now to me, I'm surprised. I actually expected more peat. But it's nice. It is to me. It's a nice level. What it is? What's that first flavor before you swallow? I get uh, I get a spice and something else like a Christmas sp spice, maybe cinnamon and before you swallow, there's this really rich, maybe a touch of ginger, but 
clove mm. and and I get this very Christmas spicy kind of but as soon as you swallow it begin it's like that's gone and a whole new thing starts where I get the peat. Yes. And that's amazing. That is such, such an abrupt change. The age is showing, the depth is showing, the finish is showing. For 49%, 49.1% Kalila. It's still amazing to me. So that is that the Klein Leash open? Yes. And that, because that's the Kalila through, finish. Through the mid palate. And it feels like a Kalila finish, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Mm -hmm. It feels, I mean, in all three sips, Klein Leash open, which is that spice forward. Fruity, I feel like I'm in a Turkish bazaar. Waxy. Yeah. I mean, it's just spices coming at me from everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I swallow it immediately. Boom. I'm into some peats. It's the subtler, softer peats. It's not those. It's mm -hmm. not those ashtrays. It's not those band aids. Nope. It's Don't not think. the creosote. It's that Kalila softer, smoother peat that I couldn't get early on, but I do now. We went back to it, and I appreciated it so much more. Our first, our first yes, review was Kalila. First ever was Kalila. Kalila twelve. Yes, and we, we went back to it in the hundred. Yep. It's such a nice whiskey, such a nice dram. What I've had from Klein Leash is as well. John Glazer uses a lot of Klein Leash in his blends. What's his this, favorite? yeah, I heard you. He loves that. I really expected more peat from the Kalila. It is. It's almost the it. the Klein Leash is overriding it. Well, which is be I mean, it's, it's but it's awesome. the book it's ending for yeah. me. It's the. Mm -hmm. It's that Klein Leash Open, which I'm not, I'm calling it that, because all I'm, get, I'm getting the Spice mm -hmm. Merchant. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, as soon as I swallow, the second I swallow, the transition to the Kalila begins. Mm -hmm. Which is, I've never had that, yep. ever. Yep. Lemons, di different lemon custard and... Yeah. and yeah. Lemon meringue pies. I, I've had multiple transitions, but I've never had such a powerful open. That's one thing. Swallow. Yep. And it switches. Fruit, sweet, juiciness up front. Transitions replaced by peat. Smooth, soft peat. Smooth, soft, bearing peat. It's almost a little tart on the open, even. Hmm. And then, um, that's, God, it's it's that's better a, than I was. My expectations led me to expect. Oh, uh, that's just amazing! It's again and again. As soon as the first swallow happens, it's all Kalila. Not all, but I mean, it's powerfully, pungently Kalila. That is something else, man. <laughs> That's, I agree. I that's that an I've experience had I haven't had. Yeah. And it's because it's so clean. It's so clean it's on the shift. Such a dichotomy, you would say, from the the sweet and the fruit up front, the spices, and then all of a sudden... Peep. Nope. Yep. Hey, nope. here we are. A little salt. A little peat. Dang. Mm. And I got to admit, I want to hold on to that climb the leash part of it. And, and not swallow for as long as I can. And then I'm looking for it as soon as I do. Mm. Maybe it's because the peat is getting into the palate, but it's becoming even more present on the end now. Where at first, there was this little gentle wafting of peat that came in on the tail end. Now it's there. It's more present. That's good. Um... I got to score it like a 94, maybe a 95. Okay. I'm going to say 93. That that distinct line, I don't know if I've ever had a such a distinct line on a two-act shift. I've had multiple transitions, mm -hmm. but I've never had anything this... 
clean that goes from one to the other. And now I want some Klein Leash. Because I can get the Kalila, and just because of the way you're describing mm. it, you're saying that's a Klein Leash open. Oh, yeah. That that front, yeah. Just 20, I'm, I'm just pulling the number. I know it's in the 20, but 20, I think 24-year-old Klein Leash. So here's here's my thoughts on this at five hundred dollars. I don't regret that at all. This is this exceeds expectations. I actually thought it would not be this it. good. I don't regret it either. Yeah, you don't either. I know. Um, yeah. Um, wow. No, thank you, thank you for. I mean, um, here I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll have a little mea culpa from only my head. I thought five hundred is gonna be over. We got a fancy bottle, heavy wax, different style. And I thought, okay, you bought the art. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and I thought, I like Compass Box. I really, really enjoy Compass Box. But I thought, oh 500's climbing out. I mean, you were out of my, you're hitting my price range. Me personally, I'm about 300. It really mm -hmm. hits my price range. Um, and I thought, ah, you know. I mean, I figured it would be good. This is unique, uniquely exceptional. Mm -hmm. And I would say, wow. I would say, probably the best compass box I've had. You want to open a, a hole in here? That would not be the only thing. The only thing close would probably be the general and okay. or the circus. But I think this is. You have the Magnus. Maximus. It's a grain whiskey, though. I know it's okay. going to be a little okay. bit. It's going to be a this little bit. This is good. I was just teasing you. Yeah. Just because I know you only got... Um, honestly, though, I, I do think this is the best compass box I've had. I don't think $500 is... If you can find this and you don't mind paying $500, go buy it. You will never see this again. Yeah. You'll never have a chance to well, taste this that. combination again. And I'm going 95 Okay, the, the combination, that clove, I'm going to stick with that clove open, that Kalila finish, that smoky Kalila finish. That is unique. You're, you've are you moved to 95. I'm sticking at 93. Good. That's, That's good. an experience. It's, good. it's it's the, well, I've said it. The delineation's unbelievable. Yep, yep. So. We might as well finish the night with... <laughs> Uh, that first of all, I want to say thank you. Where's my hat? I just I'm bringing a I cowboy just hat. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Salancha, dummies. Way to go, compass box.